What happens when a night out turns into a tragedy that no one could have imagined? The heartbreaking case of Natalie Schotter, a mother of three and an NHS worker, has stunned the public as details of her final moments emerged in court. How could something like this happen? Let's break down the story that has gripped the nation. Natalie Schotter, just 37 years old, was out in Southall, West London, enjoying a night out. But that night would tragically end with her being raped repeatedly while lying unconscious on a park bench. Prosecutors claim this brutal assault ultimately led to her death. The accused, Ido Mohammed, a 35-year-old man, has pleaded not guilty to both rape and manslaughter. Prosecutor Allison Morgan KC presented this chilling account to the jury. She described how Natalie's lifeless body was discovered by a passerby hours after the horrific attack. When police first found her, there were no clear signs of violence, no stabbings, no beatings. It took investigators time to piece together what had happened. The key to unlocking this devastating crime? CCTV footage. Even though the footage was grainy and distant, it revealed a chilling sequence of events. According to the prosecution, the video captured Mohammed engaging in acts of oral penetration while Natalie was lying unconscious on the park bench. From the footage, it's clear Natalie was not awake, let alone consenting, to what was happening. Prosecutors argue that Mohammed couldn't have believed she was consenting. In fact, they claim it was the repeated assaults that ultimately caused Natalie's death. It's a chilling allegation that the very act of rape led to her passing. Transition But there's more to Natalie's story. The court heard that she had struggled with mental health issues, alcohol dependency, and drug use, which made her particularly vulnerable that night. Standing at just over five feet tall and weighing a little more than six and a half stone, Natalie was physically vulnerable as well. Prosecutor Allison Morgan emphasized that while Natalie had been drinking and may have inhaled the legal high known as poppers, these substances didn't directly cause her death. Instead, they made her more susceptible to being taken advantage of. Earlier CCTV footage showed Natalie walking through the streets, chatting on her mobile, and even stopping outside a shop to dance. She was seen happy and in high spirits, far from the tragic fate awaiting her later that night. According to the prosecution, the real danger came when she found herself alone, unconscious, and vulnerable on that park bench. Jurors were told they would see even more CCTV footage, which is expected to reveal Mohammed's assault on Natalie in graphic detail. As the trial continues, Mohammed maintains his innocence, pleading not guilty to the charges against him. This case leaves us with many questions, and the trial is far from over. Was this a crime of opportunity or something more sinister? How did this night spiral into such a horrific tragedy? As more evidence is brought to light, we'll be here to keep you updated. That's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. You're watching AU News. Thanks for tuning in.